What's up y'all, I'm out here at the range again. As you can see behind me, I've been out here all day long. I've been doing some really interesting, cool jelly testing. And this one right here ought to be another good one. So as usual, we got the jelly contraption set up with the chrono and two blocks of gel. We got a little extra shade out here today trying to keep some of this crazy glare so y'all can see real good. Now I've done a few tests in these blocks already, but this first one up here, I've only done two, one test and it's got a couple little stray tracks from some other ones. So there should be plenty of room in this front block to get done what we need to do now this one here is going to be very interesting to some people and then some people ain't going to give a hill of beans about it so what we're doing here is we're testing out a couple of 32 caliber rounds we're testing out some 327 federal 100 grain jacketed hollow point now this is loaded by wisconsin cartridge corporation i believe these are xtp projectiles i'm not exactly sure i don't think it had any info when i ordered these but they look a lot like xtps like i say 100 grain jacketed hollow point there for the 327 federal and we're putting that up against some hornady critical defense in 32 h and r so these are 80 grain 32 h and r magnum with the ftx projectiles And then as far as the tool today, we're going to run them out of this two inch barrel Taurus 327 revolver. But this one ought to be pretty interesting. That 327 Taurus is a cool little revolver. You can run five different cartridges out of that thing. Uh, I'll leave a link up above if y'all hadn't seen that. A lot of people are interested in these little things. The problem is once they find out how hard they are to get and how hard and expensive the ammo is to get for it, <laughs> the, the opinion changes sometimes. But anyway, this is going to be the first jelly test I've done with it. So I'm very curious to see the performance here. Here. let me get all this stuff set up and let's get started all right y'all let's get us some speeds and see what we're working with i'm gonna do a three round average on each one i'm gonna start out with these 32 h and r magnums first got 943 939 and 950 so some pretty consistent speeds and not bad for a two inch barrel let's check that average out all right, so the three round average on the 32 H&R Magnum is 944 feet per second. So let me get this reset and let's check out them 327 Magnums. All right, let's check out these 327s, y'all. One thing I will say is those 32 H&R Magnums were some very soft recoil. So we'll see what the difference feels like from these 327s. Got 1,057. 1,056 and 1,060 very consistent speeds on these things so whoever's loading these did a heck of a job let's go down there and check that average out all right so our three round average on the 327 magnums was 1,057 feet per second and if you remember on them h and r's it was 944 so you talking about 113 feet per second faster from that 327 magnum so little bit over 10 percent i'd call that a significant difference so it should be really interesting to see what they do in the jail let me get this reset and y'all know what time it is all right y'all it's threes and twos jelly time i'm gonna put one of each round into the jail we're gonna start out with the 32 h and r magnum first and see what these things will do especially through this cloth hard to see my hard to see my gel past that fleece all right very hard to see my entrance too. Let me go down there and check that out. All right, y'all, that H&R actually ain't looking too bad down there. A lot better than what I expected, to be honest. So let's see what this 327 can do. Hopefully I can put this thing in my, in my gel away from the other one. All right, I believe... No, I heard it hit a tree down there. It went in, but I believe it curved out. Let me go see though. Yeah, that's a no-go on that one. I heard it hit a tree, it went in and then it curved out. So let's try that one more time, y'all. Luckily, this is the last test of the day. All right, I think that should be a good one. Let's go down there and check that out. All 
All right, y'all, let's check out what we got down here. It looks like a total mess, but all the tracks are separate and I'll give y'all plenty of angles so you can see what's going on. But just really quickly, at the very top, that's our 327 Magnum. So you can see it comes in here. It does carry some material cloth in with it, but very, very nice wound channel, really nice disruption right there. Carries through its wound track into the second block. It looks like it's about three inches into this second block and it is expanded, but not very much. Now this track right here above this little skinny one, that's the 32 H and R. So as you can see, looks really similar. Definitely not as much disruption as the 327, but really, really nice disruption carries on through. Now this one's actually sitting backwards down here. And if I was going to guess, I would say it tumbled right there because you can see it's kind of weird. The disruption almost stops right there and then starts again there. I bet it took a tumble right there and made that really weird disruption area. But let's check out the penetration measurements. So the 32 H and R is sitting at 14 and three quarters of an inch of penetration. So really nice penetration for that. That's really surprising how well that 32 H and R did. And then this 327 Magnum is out here at 19 and a half, 19 and a half inches of penetration out of that 327 Magnum. I'm trying to get you a little bit better look at that 327. It's that one in the middle right there. So as you can see, nice disruption, nice wound action. You can see it definitely carried some uh, cloth in there with it and then the track there and then like i said it's sitting right there not a lot of expansion but you can tell it definitely tried to and then this is the 32 h and r so nice disruption on that one there and then you can see what i mean it kind of disappears there and then starts again there and you can see the projectiles turn backwards all right, y'all, let's check out our projectiles. This one right here, that's the 327 Magnum. This is the 32 H&R Magnum. Big difference here. The 327 Magnum, like I say, definitely started to try to open up. Now, not a lot of expansion here. I didn't expect a whole lot from this. Uh, if this is an XTP, which I really do think it is, that's about what you see out of most XTPs, especially in a smaller caliber like this. So uh, in my opinion, that's pretty adequate expansion out of this 327. Now this 32 h and critical defense on the other hand, this thing did pretty poorly. I'm pretty disappointed in this. I actually expected this to do well because of that insert. You know, that's the big claim to fame on critical defense is this polymer insert supposed to be anti-clogging. All this thing did was just sandwich closed on itself. No kind of expansion. Now I suspect that the uh, tumbling had a large part to do with that, but still that's pretty poor performance out of a critical defense. But let's get some measurements on these things. This critical defense started at 80 grains. It's at 80 grains exactly, exactly 80 grains on this critical defense. Now this 327 Magnum started at 100 grains and it's 100.2 grains. So no material loss on either one of those. Now, as far as expansion on them, these things start at uh, about 0 0.30, 0 0.31. Let's see what this base actually says. So yeah, 0 0.306. So that's the starting size on these. This critical defense here, you got 256. And then on this long section, you got 329. And that's only because you had a couple pieces of jacket poking out. And then on your 327 Magnum here, you got 387, 366, and 372. So not a whole lot, but like I said, in my opinion, for that small of a caliber, that's adequate expansion. But there you have it, y'all, the 327 Magnum versus the 32 H&R Magnum. Pretty interesting little rounds here. If I was going to pick a winner, obviously it would be the 327 Magnum. But that being said, uh, even though they didn't really expand like they're supposed to, they still got really nice penetration, still got some really nice uh, wound channel and disruption going on. So really not some bad little rounds overall, I guess. All right, y'all, we're going to call it right there for a pretty interesting 32 test. This is actually the first time I've tested either one of those rounds, so I really wasn't sure what to expect. The 327 Magnum, obviously, in my opinion, is the clear winner here. Uh, more penetration, more energy, better expansion, although it wasn't anything fantastic expansion-wise, it was a little better than that 32 h and R. If I were carrying this little 327 revolver, I honestly wouldn't have a problem with either one of these rounds. I would definitely load up that 327 Magnum first, though, and honestly, I would carry that 
327 Magnum over a 380. That's way more impressive than 99% of the 380 rounds I've tested. But y'all let me know what y'all think about these rounds. Have any of y'all out there got one of these 327 revolvers? Have you got a 327 in a longer barrel? Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what kind of rounds you use. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to take a second and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you click that bell notification icon so you can get notified when I upload new stuff. Y'all take a second while you're doing your shopping and check those affiliate links out in the video description. If you shop through Amazon anyway, hit that link up first. You go straight through Amazon like normal from there, and anything you buy after that, I get a kickback from them towards the channel. If you're looking for some fantastic ear pro, hit up those actual affiliate links down there and you can save a pile of money instead of going straight through their site. As always, I appreciate all my Range Gang members and every single one of y'all out there that supports the channel by watching these videos, hitting that thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, and like I said again, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think about these 32 rounds. Looks like we're losing sunlight fast out here, so that's gonna wrap it up for today. I got a ton of good stuff coming y'all's way, so be on the lookout for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.